If you want to check out the versus updates for yourself and see them highlighted in Left 4 Dead 2 itself, uh, you can do that. You just need to go to find Left 4 Dead in your Steam library, right click on it, go to properties. Then in this little pop-up, you have set launch, launch options here in the general tab. Uh, you click on that and you just need to put in dash dev right here. This enables developer mode. Uh, you probably don't want to play the game normally with this on because it kind of adds some extra stuff that gets in the way. But once you've set that, you just hit OK, close that out. And then when you launch the game, uh, you're going to be in developer mode. Once you're in the main menu, uh, you're going to need to start a game, a locally hosted game yourself on Versus. Uh, and the way you're going to have to do this is you open the console. If you don't have console enabled, you go to Options, Keyboard and Mouse, Allow Developer Console Enabled. And go in your console and do SV Cheats 1. You have to have Cheats enabled. Uh, another important one is SB All Bought Game 1. Um, and then once you're at this point, you can go ahead and load up the map. Uh, but I will recommend if you're just going to check things out locally and you don't want to try to play the game, do director stop uh, and VS max team switches 99, something like that. Um, let's see. Another good one is SB stop one. This will prevent the bots from moving around. So I'll put those three commands below. Uh, another, uh, once we have all those set up, it's time to go and load up a map. Uh, you kind of have to know the map name for these, so you type in map space, and then it'll give you a drop down where you can you can press up and down to like go through all the maps if you want. Uh, just for our example, let's do uh, C one M two streets, and then space versus. So map C one M two streets versus. Uh, you have to load it up on the versus game mode in order to see the differences. Um, cool. So once that loads up, we should be in a solo versus game on the map all by ourselves. Give it just a moment here. All right, we're in. And our bots shouldn't move. Uh, I'm going to run director stop again. I think sometimes you have to run that after the map starts. Um, there, all the comments are disappearing. Sweet. So now that you're here, uh, we do have the new ladders. This is one of the new ladders. But if you want to actually see the changes that happen, there's two commands you have to run in console. And I think it tells you about this in console somewhere. Uh, but in any case, I like to bind these two key. Um, the commands are script show update. And that highlights everything. And then script hide update. And that hides it all again. So what I like to do is I bind these to two keys. I'm just using the little square brackets. Uh, so bind one of them to script show update and bind the other one to script uh, hide update. And you have to put the command in quotes at the end right there. Cool. So then I can just, with the press of a button, I can turn on show updates and have all the new changes highlighted. And there's a lot of new changes and that kind of renders it's pretty ugly to look at looking over the whole thing but then if i want to just like look at it with all uh, without all the stuff in the background i turn off the updates again and oh yeah it's just a normal letter so yeah that's kind of how you do that of course also you might want to bind uh, a key to no clip use no clip and that lets you sort of fly around um yeah and then you can use all the other cheat commands you want to try to look around and take a look at the new stuff. I think you do need to be on infected team to see the ladders. Uh, so by doing that versus max team switches, you can switch teams back and forth. Uh, if you find yourself, since we stopped the director, if you find yourself here with spawning has been disabled, you can just type in ghost to become a ghost. Or you could do Z spawn hunter. And then you will become a hunter and take a look at them actually spawn. Cool. So that's uh, that's the how-to of looking at the update. With those commands, you should be able to go in and see all the changes that got added with the new update. Pretty sweet. All right. Thanks, guys. See ya.